Previously on Tim and Eric Quiz. First course, Handsome Grant Johnson versus Andre David Wormsley. Bieber season was justice. Handsome Grant advanced. Second course, Vicky Joe Constanza versus Frankie Pozos. You have a bow tie. Vicky Joe Constanza advanced. Third course, Vicky versus Handsome Grant. Vicky advanced. Fourth course. Carrie Van Auken, advanced, fifth course. Leland Heflin, advanced, sixth course. Easy cream. Carrie, advanced. Tonight, Tim and Eric fans will go head to head. Who will climb their way to the top? This is not a game for the week. week. Good morning, class. I'm Tennessee Winston Luke. Recess is over. It's time for Tim and Eric Quiz. Students will compete head-to-head -head in a bracket-style elimination, answering questions related to all the Tim and Eric shows. Whoever passes the final exams will win our grand prize. A lunch with David Liebrehart at a restaurant of his choosing. And at any point, a player can ask Master Impressionist James Qual for help. You can always qual a friend. Computer, please randomly select today's first two students. Commencing random selection. Felicia Taylor and Joey Bonifiglio have been selected. Let's get to know our students. So, Felicia, my producers tell me that you enjoy comedy and also know some sign language. Can you tell us a joke using American Sign Language? My, uh, yep. <laughs> okay. Joseph, has anyone ever told you look like a magician? Sure. What do you do for a living? Um, I taught for 18 years, and I worked at a state hospital and it was really rewarding and I loved it, but as I got a little bit older and a little bit, uh, had a few injuries, I wasn't able to, to fulfill the duties anymore. And uh, I love my new life, just being a little bit more free and doing odd jobs. Well, we are excited to have you. Seventh course. Start the clock. In episode four of Tim and Eric Bedtime Stories, what are the things Franklin Bing describes himself as? Wow. Um, he describes himself as a lowlife? as a dog, as a, 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 an athlete. Ooh. After. Time's up. Congratulations, Felicia. You have passed the course. Joey, you have been eliminated. Any final words? I... Just kidding, man. Just kidding, man. Just kidding, man. Just kidding, man. Uh-oh, what's that? It's time for a pop quiz. Computer, please resurrect two of our eliminated contestants. Initiating random resurrection. Lord Grant 
I have come to you seeking your necromancy. It is my wish that you resurrect two of our fallen students. Then you must give me a sacrifice and say the incantation. I like crackers and snacks. Crackers and snacks. Crackers and snacks. <laughs> Leland Heflin and Andre David Wormsley have been chosen. Hi, I am Leland Heflin. You failed your first attempts at the Tim and Eric quiz, but you have been given a second chance. Will you both just reflect on that for a little bit? Thank you for still having me on. I know I did poorly and I'm, I'm embarrassed that I did poorly. I, I'm glad that you're giving me another chance. I'm gonna really try hard. Thank you. I appreciate the second chance. I know it's gonna be great. I can't wait. Well, we're excited to have you back. This pop quiz will be multiple choice. Are you ready? Let's play. No. Here is your pop quiz question. Start the clock. According to Awesome Show, what happens on a perfect dad's day? Um, well, I think... Kiss the wife, sharpen the knife, check the levels in the toilet bowls, change the batteries in the remote controls. Can you mow the lawn? Time's up. Congratulations, Andre. You have passed the course. Sorry, Leland. You have failed again. Any final words? I'm sorry. I think I would have done better if you just let me describe this show. I mean, I don't know. I can't ask. Check it out. Cool Guy Zone. Featuring questions about everyone's favorite doctor, Dr. Stephen Brule. Hey, you dingus on my show. Check it out. How does Dr. Dan Dangus describe sex? Me, me. I can be the number one fan of T&E. Two people having fun with their bodies. Correct. You, hunk. That means you passed the course and are advanced. Ah, uh, Felicia. Sorry, but you've been eliminated. Any final words? Wow, another exciting lesson in our curriculum. Enjoy your recess. Do that over again. Recess is over. It's time to select two new students. Dave Gia and Cooper Foster have been selected. The floor is jammed. I'll use more pressure. Hold on tight, Dave. Fixed. Congratulations, Cooper. You have passed the course. Dave, you are eliminated. Please exit the stage. Computer, please bring up my next two new students. Commencing random selection. Nathan Ballard and Sarah Podwall have been selected. So Sarah, my producers tell me you are a yogi. What are some of the stretches you might recommend to someone with chronic lower back pain? Okay, so some poses for like lower chronic back pain is just like a simple forward fold. It'll help relieve pressure on your back. Oh, I see. Well, it is. Okay. So Nathan, I hear you're a pop punk rocker. So what kind of strings do you use, brother? My name is Nathan Ballard, and I'm here to be a contestant on the Tim and Eric. Well, we are excited to have you. Are you ready? Let's play. Eleventh course. Start the clock. Name the different collections of Cinco Libraries Encyclopedia of Numbers. Prime numbers. 
time's up. Congratulations, Sarah. You have passed the course. Sorry, Nathan. You have been eliminated. Any final legs are long. Yes, legs are long. Let's welcome back Cooper. T G T T M T B T Q and A. All questions about Tom goes to the mayor. Are you ready? Let's play. What is Tom's last name? Me, me, I can be the number one fan of T&E. Um, I'm going to call a friend. I'm James Qual, and this is Qual a friend. Congratulations, Sarah. You have passed this course. Woo! Cooper, you have been eliminated. <laughs> That's all the quizzing we have time for on the Seminary Quiz. But next time, we'll be meeting two new students. In the meantime, school is out forever. <laughs> Absolutely.